Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you all that I picked up from this year's Sephora holiday savings event. We got a lot to talk about, so I hope y'all got time because I have three huge bags, three huge bags here of goodies. <laughs> I'm happy about everything and I wanna share them with you. So if you have time, please continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content. Leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Now y'all, before we jump into all this stuff that I have to show you, I wanna thank Sephora and Magic Links for sponsoring today's video. Y'all, I feel like, I'ma say this, but I know y'all ain't living under a rock because it's clear the Sephora sale is going on as we speak. It's over on the 6th of November. Now y'all, take advantage of the discount because these items are very expensive and it's so fun to get discounted beauty products that usually never go on sale. So if you're Rouge, you're gonna get 20% off. If you're a VIB, you're gonna save 15%. And if you're an insider, you're gonna save 10%. Now, if you're not any of those things, have no fear because I'm gonna leave a link in my description box, you need to sign up, okay? Get 10% off, like that's a big deal. But not only that, you guys know I'm so excited about the 30% off that Sephora has for every tier. It doesn't matter, okay? You can be an insider, VIB, Rouge, it doesn't matter. You are going to save 30% off of Sephora collection. And y'all, I think this is my biggest Sephora collection haul yet. <laughs> because every year, like I told y'all, I'm just so excited about Sephora collection. One, because it's already reasonably priced. And two, because I'm saving 30%. <laughs> so, I mean, you literally cannot beat that. So y'all, let's jump right in because it's a lot. It is a lot. Okay, so I broke it up into three different categories or three different segments. So the first one is gifts, okay? So these are gifts that I purchased for people. Um, so let's just get this out of the way because it's only three. <laughs> so the first one is by Sol de Janeiro and it's the Beja Flor Body Boost Set. Y'all, this is a $70 value that I got. Well, it's a $70 value. It's retailing for $48 and I was able to save 20% on top of that. Look at this, y'all. First of all, can we say hello packaging? It is so beautiful. It is just, it's so tropical and fun and festive. I absolutely love how this looks. Like, I mean, I may or may not wrap it. This may be going in like, a cute little bag with some tissue because this is the wrapping paper uh, like within itself you know what i'm saying it is so pretty so feminine so girly and my cousin is going to love this she doesn't really watch my videos so it's all good <laughs> but um i feel like this scent right here this is the 68 scent i love the 62 i love all the scents like let's just start there but i feel like for someone who may or may not like gourmands this is your safest bet it's sweet it's floral i can't see someone not loving this scent because if she don't like it she could pass it right back on to me okay because i love it <laughs> so we have this and then we also have another gift set actually this is for me y'all it's a gift set but it is for me i ain't gonna lie to y'all so this is the bum bum body obsession now let me tell you why i got this so this is a 68 dollar value no I'm lying. It's a hundred and one dollar value and it retails for sixty eight dollars. But I was able to save 20 percent off of the sixty eight dollars. I mean, hello, winning. And look at the packaging. Another gorgeous box. It is so pretty. So I was originally going to get the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I needed to re up on my Boom Boom Cream and that retails for I want to say forty two dollars. And it's this size. This is the same size I was gonna get. So I was like, okay, $42. This is $68. So for a few more dollars, I'm gonna get another body spray, which I don't need it right now, but I have a backup, so I'll use it eventually. I'm gonna get the small um, shower gel for travel. We're traveling soon. And I have a small body scrub and the oil. Y'all, this right here, let me open it and show y'all. 
but I want to put it back nicely because it is so pretty. And I don't need to open it just yet because I still have like a little scrapings. Look at this, y'all. How cute is this? So the spray is here and then the scrub, the cream, the shower gel and the little oil for travel. I mean, y'all know I'm obsessed with this for Meza oil. This is such a great deal. Like, I feel like this is a steal. Like, first of all, this alone is $42, y'all. So this retails for $68. Like, this is winning. And the packaging is so cute. I absolutely love it. So I was like, I'm gonna give me a little gift set. Like, I need a gift. I'm let me treat myself. This is also a gift. So this is a Sephora Favorites perfume sampler. Y'all, this is goals. Like, this is everything. I don't know what people like, okay? You know, sometimes people smell things and they're like, oh, this smells so good. And you think you know what they like and then you get them something and then they don't like it. So listen, I'm taking all that guesswork out for myself. And this sampler is going as a gift to someone. So this you're going to get 16 samples, 16 samples of fragrances, y'all. There's Tom Ford Ombre Leather. There's Juliet Has a Gun, Valentine. I mean, look at this, y'all. Like all these fragrances. And then they're going to be able to redeem it for a full size, y'all, a full size bottle of whichever fragrance she chooses. Like, this is amazing. And I mean, there's good fragrances in here. Like some of my favorites are the Donna Born and Roma, the Gucci Flora, the Gorgeous um, Jasmine, the Prada Paradox, the Burberry uh, Her, there's um, By the Fireplace that's not my favorite but that's a good fragrance like it has a really big cult following so she may like that there's black opium there's flower bomb there's vanilla woods i mean there's so many great fragrances in here and then look at this cute little packaging not packaging like a cute little pouch that all the fragrances come in so she's going to be able to use this as like a makeup case or you know whatever like this is just so cute so another great gift and even like for yourselves like if you're someone who's trying to sample some fragrances get this get it it you know it i want to say so this was 85 dollars. it's a 167 dollar value it was 85 dollars plus the 20 percent off of that so i mean this is just amazing y'all so that is the first bag we're gonna get this out the way and then so my second segment that i want to share with y'all are things that I just had to re-up on. Like these aren't new things to my collection. They're just new re-ups because I mean, I use my things. So in this bag right here, this bag, it's all lashes, all Sephora collection lashes. My favorite weightless fluffed and full lashes. I'm wearing them right now. You guys know I absolutely love, adore, obsessed, can't live without these lashes so this is a whole bag full of them y'all as you can see i don't want it to spill but this is just all lashes i told y'all like i go crazy i go ham when it comes to these lashes because i never want to be out of them and they're my favorite i don't need any more lashes like i found the lash for me and we just gonna rock out it is what it is <laughs> and I have an online order the online order i placed at midnight the night that the sale started i want to say it was october 26 and that's coming but i'm going to show y'all that in a vlog i didn't want to wait for that order because i wanted to get this video out just in case you guys are still shopping and need some recommendations and you want to see what everybody else got so you can get some stuff too because that's what i'm going to be doing okay so i also picked up the sephora razors i showed y'all this in my recommendations video i picked up another pack i absolutely love them i wasn't sure if it was three or four that came in a pack it's four and this is what it looks like i love it it is such a great deal i also re-upped on my kiehl's daily refining milk peel pore toner i feel like everything that i got i showed y'all in my recommendations video i'm recommending them to you because these are my favorite products love this i'm almost out i mean i have less than half of the one that i showed y'all in a video so i have a backup i also purchased two more packs 
of the Sephora cottons. I told y'all, this is the best cotton ever. Like it doesn't matter, Chanel, Shiseido, I don't care what brand it is. These to me are the best. They're big, they cover like a large surface amount on your face. It's not super cottony, it's not leaving like cotton residue on your face. I just love and adore these. It's such a great deal. I wanna say, were these $12? I'm not sure how much they were, but either way, 30% off, 30% off. Absolutely love these. Also, I got the Sephora Deep Cleaning Brush and Sponge Shampoo. Showed y'all this in my recommendations video as well. I feel like I wanna pick up another one because I mean, I wash so many brushes at one time, y'all. I feel like I use like half of this at one time because I wash my brushes like months later because I have so many brushes. So I feel like I'm gonna get another one of these because I love this. And like I said, 30% off, okay? Now, I got some Tatcha. So I got my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Needed another one of these, absolutely love this. Showed y'all this in my recommendations video. And also the cream, the dewy skin, uh, dewy skin cream. Now I had this to show y'all, it was on my table, but I had so much stuff. Like I told y'all, those videos give me anxiety because I'm like, I wanna show y'all everything, but I don't want the video to be five weeks long. But these are all products that I love. I feel like I love damn near half of Sephora. Like I can literally show you half of Sephora in my closet because these are just products that I love. They work for me. If you have dry skin, the dewy skin cream is everything. I've been using this for years. Sometimes I use it as my night cream if I don't feel like using a night cream. You know what I mean? Like this just works all situations, all scenarios. Like it's just my go-to moisturizer. And of course the dewy skin mist taking away any powdery cakey look on your face just amazing okay this is kind of new well actually no i don't know how to describe this this is new but it's travel size because i told y'all i'm traveling soon well not soon like next week or anything but we're traveling we have a trip coming up shortly by the grace of god and i wanted to bring these i love the charlotte tilbury finishing powders right so they have the smaller ones first of all they're so super cute like how cute is this and they're just perfect for traveling. So I have number three and number four. Let me just open it. I'm not gonna open it out the, um, like open the pack because I don't want the ear to get to it yet. But I just wanna look at the, the little, I mean, how cute is, y'all? How freaking cute is this? I mean, just get me with all the travel sizes, y'all. This is so adorable. So this is perfect for traveling or even on a day-to-day. -day, like, you know how sometimes like we take road trips or um, like a day trip somewhere or if I'm going out for the whole day and I have my makeup on and sometimes like, you know, my smile lines will break up depending on the foundation that I'm wearing. I can just fix it back up with this little, you know, throw this in my little purse. Like this is so freaking cute. Y'all, this is everything. So even if you're not traveling, I feel like this is good to have just to throw in your makeup bag that you keep in your purse. So also from Charlotte, the good girl Charlotte, as Keiko Beauty says. So I got another airbrush flawless setting spray. I mean, this is like, everybody should get this come to sale because this is like the perfect setting spray. It leaves your face not looking super shiny because some setting sprays, like if I wanna look dewy, like, you know, I'll use it. This doesn't make me look dewy, but it doesn't make me look matte. It just, I just look like I have, like, it just looks like skin, like moisturized and hydrated skin, but it's not extra dewy because sometimes I don't want that look, but it's not super matte either. So this is perfect perfection. Absolutely love it. Another Charlotte item is a re-up on my airbrush flawless foundation and this is the color 15 neutral i showed y'all this in my recommendations video and i got it back up because i love this it's what i'm wearing today like it's just the perfect foundation the finish is perfect it doesn't break up into my smile lines it stays put all day like literally i feel like this is one of the best foundations ever like i just love it so much the coverage it's covering it is a perfect foundation y'all i absolutely love it 
always going to get that like a re-up of that every sephora sale so another foundation that i got that's one of my favorites is by nars and this is the soft matte complete foundation and this is the color five okay so i showed y'all in my recommendations video i had two colors i think macau and something else i forgot the colors but i have to mix them because one was too dark and one is too light so mixing them gives me my perfect color but i decided to pick up what color is this medium deep five this is marquise right marquise yeah, Mar Marquise, I think, y'all. So what I did was I, I swatched my 15 neutral Charlotte Tilbury because this is literally like my perfect shade. Like I don't have to lighten it, darken it. This is the perfect shade on me. So this was really, really close. I want to say it was probably a smidgen lighter, just a smidge, but maybe it'll oxidize or I can just deepen it a little bit with my powder. But this color seems like I would just need one foundation and I have to use, I have a hair y'all that is just a bothering me. Y'all can't see it, but I feel it. Um, yeah, so I won't have to lay, like mix the two foundations. And I'm not going to open this just yet because I still have maybe half or a little bit more than half, I think, of the other two colors. But I'm definitely excited to try this one because if this works, like, hello, hallelujah, I'm just buying one foundation and not two. Because like I said, this is pricey, okay? So from Sephora collection, I had to get two brushes. I got two number 26 brushes because this is one of my favorite blending brushes for eyeshadow. I used it in the video that I did. Actually, you guys probably saw my vlog, but I used that brush to blend my eyeshadow colors. This is amazing. I mean, 30% off. I love the brush. You can't beat it with a stick, okay? Um, What else did I get? Ooh. So I also got another one of the Sephora pencils in the color 17. If y'all remember my recommendations video, I told y'all I didn't need another one. But I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get another one because you never know when they're going to discontinue something or you just never know. So I just got one 30% off, whatever, like don't judge me. But I did pick up another one of the travel sizes of the Givenchy Prism Libre, Prism Libre powder that I absolutely love. And this is the color five, I think. Yes, the color five. Y'all know I'm obsessed, okay? This is for vacation. It's so small, so cute. I'm obsessed with this powder. And the fact that they make it in a travel size, hello, thank you, Givenchy. Thank you, we're winning. Like, this is everything. I also picked up two of the deodorants that I had in my recommendations video. Basically, this bag is pretty much all recommendations. So this is the Rio Dio deodorant by Sol de Janeiro that I told you I love. It's my everyday, day-to-day, -day, not doing too much deodorant, bedtime, home. You know, it is what it is. And my Donna Karen Cashmere Mist Antiperspirant deodorant for when I'm going out and I'm going to be sweating. I'm going to be out long and I'm going to need that extra protection. This is everything. And the last thing in the re-up bag is a hairspray by Living Proof. This is the perfect hair day heat styling spray. So this is a heat protectant up to 450 degrees, y'all. So I use this all the time because it tames flyaways. And I, I like to use my flat iron super hot. So this protects the hair. You can use it on your natural hair, on your unnatural hair. Just use it on your hair, girl, okay? This is everything. Absolutely love it. Okay, so now that this is out the way, let us get into the new items that I bought that I'm so so excited about and i have a story y'all like this is the bag right here that i was excited to talk to you about okay so y'all know how the sephora app just went down like it went down over the weekend and it wasn't letting the girls in the girls was like fighting banging at the door like let me in let me in and we couldn't get in okay so I called Sephora, one of the Sephora's, because the Sephora by me didn't have this, because I went in store and I placed an online order. So the Sephora by me didn't have this, and when I saw this, that it was coming out, 
I knew I needed it. Like, not wanted it. Like, I need it. Okay? So, I called a Sephora that's a little further from me. And they had one left in stock. And, y'all, I went out, like, in the rain. And I went and got it. And that is the Danessa Myricks Beauty Light Work Volume 5 Palettes. <sighs> y'all, first of all, I'm trying not to let the ring light um, blind you guys. Okay. First of all... Have y'all seen this? If you're an eyeshadow girly, like this right here is going to give you all of your life. Okay? It's going to snatch your neck, snatch your soul, and give you all of your life. When I tell you the beautiful metallics, it was child. Can you open? I'm so excited. It's not coming out, y'all. Okay. When I sell, when I show y'all the beautiful metallics that's in this beautiful freaking palette, like y'all, look at this. Look how gorgeous. Look, are y'all seeing this? Look how gorgeous. We have the greens, and this is an eyeshadow and like a face palette, but honestly, I'm just keeping it strictly for the eyes. Um, but I'm so super excited to use some of these colors, like all of these colors, like like let's start there but i'm just so excited for them like this is just everything this is going to be winter spring summer and fall this is going to be going on vacation like this right here is so gorgeous and i love how the palette looks it's so pretty y'all so definitely had to get that like i said i had to drive in the rain child because y'all done broke the sephora app <laughs> everybody and their mama was trying to buy stuff like this sale was just had the girls going crazy okay i have some fragrances but i, I need to save the fragrances for the end y'all because i got a story all right i got a little story so let's just get through these first okay so i purchased the tart um what is this called high performance neutrals the buffer so it's a foundation brush i had this brush many many years ago and it just got raggedy and you know like i moved a few times so that brush is no longer with me so i was like you know what let me pick up another one because i really love this brush for foundation you, you guys know i love my sephora brushes but i was like let me try to get this one again it's super soft and it's soft and dense it, it you know it's you can move it around but it's still going to give you that maximum coverage but it's going to be kind of like light and airy when you're buffing it on your face it feels really good i used it before and i was like let me just get it again so i picked this back up and okay so i was influenced and i was influenced by simply shaughnessy if you guys watch her channel like you like she talks about fragrances but she also talks about wellness and body care and skin care and she's a girly girl like all of us so in her recommendations video she mentioned a product that she loved that she uses when her skin is feeling dull and it needs some luster and some life and i was like sis say less because she said the magic word glow she likes her skin to glow and you guys know like i'm all about the glow so i was like sis you ain't even gotta say no more like wrote it down and that was that so i picked up the ole henrix henrickson's um does this make my face look fat fat glow facial so that's what this is y'all i'm gonna do it this sunday and i'm excited i love this packaging like you guys know this is my color um i'm excited to use this so i was influenced by shaughnessy and i got it and i'm excited to try it because it's supposed to be it's it instantly exfoliates and illuminates with phas and nordic birch sap okay i'm not really sure what all that is but i know it's gonna make me glow so that's all that matters right <laughs> all right so oh i picked up a I got a lot of makeup brushes, y'all. Y'all know I love makeup brushes. It's something about makeup brushes that just, I don't know. Like, I just keep getting makeup brushes and I don't need any more. But I've never had this one. So, you guys know I like the found the Sephora Pro brushes. But this is a foundation brush. Um, I was influenced by Chris Loves Lux. She, she talked about this one in her recommendations video. So that's why I picked it up. I'm like, why did I get this? But yeah, so Chris talked about it in her video. 
and she said she loves it for foundation so i picked it up so let's see let me just rip this open because i mean so it's a cute little brush oh it doesn't want to it don't want to come out okay so yeah oh it's nice and soft it feels really good y'all and i just love brushes like this that are soft and they move around but it's still dense like not too dense where you're like trying to really work it and buff it like i feel like this is going to take a lot of the buffing work out for me because it's going to do it by itself because of how these bristles are so i'll let y'all know but chris told me to get this so i listen y'all um is the hair still here like honestly Ooh, y'all don't even understand <laughs> this hair. Okay, ooh, y'all. Okay, so another Sephora collection item that I got is the Sephora Destinations palette. So I have one that has, I forgot the name of it, but what's the name of it? I'm not sure, but it has um, a really bright like raspberry color in there. So I got this one because of this green color. And honestly, I feel like I can do my whole entire face with this one palette. Will that happen? Probably not because I'm always bouncing around. But if I wanted to, I could. So it has all the browns, like, you know, my colors. And this blue color right here, y'all, that is so beautiful and very pigmented. I swatched it in the store and I loved it. I love all the colors, actually. So th there's like your metallics up here and your browns down here. So this is going to be cool. And 30% off. Y'all already know. I'm going to just stop saying it. You can't beat it with a stick. I ain't going to stop saying it. <laughs> so another eyeshadow palette that I purchased. I got three eyeshadow palettes. I'm so good on palettes, y'all. Like, I'm not buying any more palettes for, like, the next three or four years. I'm done. I'm done. Hold me to it, okay? I'm done. Hold me to it. But I had to get this Pat McGrath palette, y'all. Every year, I say I'm not getting any Pat McGrath palettes because... Patty, she's expensive, okay? She's very, very expensive. She's pricey. She's very pricey. But then what happens is you see the palette, right? Like, you know, this, this is really cute. This doesn't get me. Like, this is nice, but it is what it is. What gets me is that you see the palette. And then for me, I can't go in Sephora without swatching. I'm a swatcher. I'm a sprayer. I'm a tester. I don't test anything on my face or on my lips. Like I don't do the lipstick or anything like that. But when it comes to eyeshadows, I'm definitely going to give a little swatchy swatch. I swatched this and I was like, no, <laughs> no. Why are you so? It's like her formula is like no other y'all. Like, I mean, I have great eyeshadow palettes with great consistencies and i love the formulas of the eyeshadows but it's something about the good girl patty y'all i cannot help it so i got this palette what is this called this is the is it the golden one what is this called this is the mothership um i can't see y'all which one is this I don't know, but I'm going to show y'all the colors. But I think it's like sun glow or sun something. But I don't see it here. Whatever. But y'all, look at this. I'm not going to swatch it because I don't want to mess it up. But you guys, look at these colors. This color right here had me. I mean, every single one of them, especially the shimmery shades. Like, they just get me all the time, y'all. They get me all the time. But I can't wait to create some looks with this. This is everything. All right. So. We're going to get to the fragrances. Because <laughs> like I said, I got a story to tell y'all. Okay. So from Sephora Collection, I also picked up some concealers. I wanted to try these concealers. And I got three of them. So. These were 30% off, like I said, and they were $15. So 30% off $15. I mean, honestly, for a good concealer, they felt super thick. Like when I swatched it, it felt really thick. And I love the undertones. They had neutral undertones, pink undertones, and yellow undertones. So for me, I love neutral and pink. Pink kind of like acts like a color corrector for me. So I got 45 pink. 
I got 50 neutral for like a no makeup, more natural kind of, you know, not a bright highlight kind of situation. And I also got 35 neutral. So these three, y'all, I'm excited to try them in the store. They felt super thick and I just love concealer, y'all. And I just wanted to see if I can find a really good concealer that wasn't breaking the bank. So I think this is going to fit the bill. So three of those. And is that it for Sephora Collection? No, I told y'all I went ham with Sephora Collection. So I got a Sephora Collection body brush. I've never seen this, y'all. But I was over there lingering in the Sephora area. And I was like, oh, this looks good. Because you guys know, like in the summertime, I love having my shoulders out. And this is a perfect brush to add my shimmer and my shimmer oils on my little shoulders and my chest and everything like that. So look at this it is so cute y'all it is so cute these brushes don't want to come out okay look at this this is what it looks like it is so cute right these sh oh my goodness it is so soft <gasps> y'all it feels so good so just you know a little put it on your arms on your legs so this is going to be perfect love this i wish i had it last summer love it Okay, is that the only Sephora collection? No, I have a few more things. So from Sephora collection, I also got this, um, what is this called? It's an eyeliner, it's a liquid eyeliner. I got it for my wing. Um, I love using liquid eyeliner for my wing and just like, like if I do, once I put my lashes on, sometimes the glue is still, like it's drying and it's still white. I like to put this over like my lid so you know this is always good to have and i mean it looks really small because this is this whole thing right here is the the top and this is where you get the product but i don't really use a lot of this so this is cool and it was 30 percent off so now usually with my sephora pencils i have the number 17 molasses color and i also have a red one i have a red and a pink i have a few colors but what i didn't have is this color here this is called, this is the number, uh, number 18 and it's dark horse. So it's like a really deep, sexy burgundy color. Y'all, this is freaking everything. Look at this. I mean, you really can't see it. Like it's just gonna look like a burgundy pencil, but on my lips, it is so pretty. I mean, I didn't try it, but I did, you know, swatch it on my hand, but I could tell like on my lips is gonna be everything. So I got three of them for 30% off. I mean, I'm gonna stop saying it, okay? I'm gonna stop saying it. All right, so I told you guys we're traveling. So I also picked up some NARS concealers in the travel size. And is that it from, yeah, okay. So I picked up these two. I thought I bought three, but I bought two. So I have Amand, which is num which is medium dark three. And I also got caramel. I mean, look at this y'all. Like it's the travel section at Sephora online for me. Like it always gets me. Like I'm there with my basket to get my other stuff. And I was like, you know what? We're traveling. Let me just take this. This is the OG concealer. I used to love these concealers. I mean, like this was like one of my first loves when it came to luxury. Um, is this designer? I luxury makeup. Um, this was like my first concealer, and I haven't used it in a really, really long time. But y'all, these little travel sizes, they always get me because they're so cute, and I feel like I can bring more makeup because I'll have more space. <laughs> because these don't take up that much space so i got two of them these are the colors that i usually get like a nice highlighting color and a brightening color so that's that and i got some lipsticks from gucci the gucci lipstick formulation is everything y'all it just is they're really pricey but i love them so i got three colors i got the uh, scarlet which is a red one i got a plum and i have a lilac so let me show y'all so the lilac color is so gorgeous, super pretty. It's one of my favorite colors. It's like a pinky, purpley. Oh my goodness, <gasps> it, it's the same color as my nails. Look at this. Do y'all see that? Exactly the same color as my nails. So this color right here is so pretty. 
like it's brown girl friendly i feel like it'll look good on any complexion but more importantly it's brown girl friendly because i'm always looking for brown girl friendly lips so this is one of them love this and another one is this is the plum i think this is like the deeper one i got a nice rich deep color for the season Ooh, look at this y'all this is so is this oh that's how it is oh, okay because i'm like what is these little dots but i guess that's how it is so this is this what this color looks like super pretty and rich and deep love that and this is the red this is a blue based red and i just feel like you can't have enough red lipstick look at this y'all this is so pretty gorgeous gorgeous bright red but like i said it's blue based so it's bright but it's not gonna look like clowny on my complexion because red can be real funny with me i don't know about anybody else um what else did i get okay that counts as a fragrance okay so for my eyebrows i've never tried this but i always hear people raving about these products from benefit the benefit um i got the precisely my brow pencil i got two of them because i swatched it in the store and i like how dry it felt i don't like a brow pencil that's moisturizing because i like my brows dry <laughs> it, it's easier for me to draw them and to work with them so you guys know like I mean, Anastasia Beverly Hills, I have that pencil as well. But I just wanted to try this. And I do my own brows. So I'm going to try this. It felt really good in the store. So I was like, if I love it, let me just get two because I'm going to regret it. So I got two of those. And two blushes. So actually, I have, I told y'all I have another order coming. So those blushes will come in the mail. And I'll show y'all when, when those come. But for now, I have these two blushes from Valentino. I showed y'all in my recommendations video that now was the time to get them. So I only had one. I had the color 10. I think that's like a fuchsia color. So I picked up the color 4, Sweet Rebel. Let me show y'all what this looks like. That's this color. And this was like, let me swatch it because I almost, okay. So this is like a corally kind of color it's right there so it's like that coral color but i feel like i can wear this all year round you know what i mean like it can be like a summertime or now so i got this color and i also picked up a uh, number five in rosso this one is really really pretty it's like that red color like it doesn't look like it like when i show it to you it's not gonna look like it but on me it kind of gives me that same effect as the house labs but not as bright because with the house labs that one is super super bright but this one is more like this is what it looks like it doesn't really look like oh but look at it y'all like when you look at it in the in the um packaging it's like not really giving much but look at it see how gorgeous is that it's like a nice bright coral color so pretty and i love the formulation of these they're so soft they're so blendable like look at that it just blends out and these are actually eyes to cheek so you can do them as eyeshadow as well but for me i'm just keeping them as a blush okay okay so y'all i had to get the glow seeker highlighter by anastasia beverly hills this is gonna act like a highlighter blush topper for me it only comes in one color just one color is available but it's one of those colors that can go with every complexion just depending on what you need it for you know what i mean so this is the packaging how freaking cute like how adorable is this packaging and look at this color i want to say it's similar to the color that they did with amrezy but this one has a little bit more yellow to me i think this one has a little bit more yellow so let me swatch it on my hand to show y'all so it looks super stark but this is going to be a hot like once i put my gold highlighter on this will go on top of the gold highlighter like on the very very high points of my cheek do i have a brush that i can use 
let me just use my finger it's gonna go on the very very high points of my cheeks like it just looks like light you know what i mean like it just looks like the light is bouncing off of my face so it'll just go right there on the high points once my cheek has my blush and my gold or bronze highlighter or whatever color i want to use and this just goes on top just to add that look of light just blaring down on me you know what i mean like it's so pretty and the packaging is everything okay <sighs> ciao all right so from kat von d i got three liquid lipsticks and i got a, a blood flower pale harlequin and a caltrix so <laughs> these are what, what it looks like i love the kat von d um lip um what is it formulation like i love the lipsticks what i hated because i feel like the packaging was so cute before because it had the tattoos all over it so this is just super super plain i wish it had something else on it i mean it has the logo here but if y'all remember how they looked back in the day with the tattoos all over they made it look you know a little bit more more regular now so i got this color this would be like a nice nude color as you can see, I also got another nude color, but this one is more warm than the first one. The first one is cooler. This one is warmer right here. And that's actually just for like the center of my lips, like when I do a lip combo. And then of course, this red beautiful red color super bright so this has more of an orange undertone so this is what this one looks like right here love it and love the formulation i'm actually wearing one today i'm wearing um what is it called berry something but i have it on with the number 17 liner and the kat von d lipstick it's so comfortable they don't feel too drying. Like, I just love them. So, before we get to the fragrances, I have one more, no, two more beauty items to show you. So, I got another lipstick. I've never tried this brand's lipstick, but I love the blush so much. I don't have any Armani makeup, y'all. Like, people are always talking about the foundation. I've never tried it. I'm going to try it one day, the Luminous Silk, but I'm just not ready for it. I don't know why. There's so many foundations that I want to try. That's been on my list for years because that one is like an oldie but goodie from what I hear. But because the blushes left such an impression on me, I was like, let me get this lipstick because I love the color. Another nude color. Is this... Wait. Oh, wait, I, this is red. Oh, I was like, wait, what? Okay, so the cap is red, which is really pretty. I didn't see the cap, but the color is the brown color that I wanted. It's like a brown nudie color. So when I swatched it, it was really pretty in store. And it felt, the formulation felt, I don't know how you guys are, but I can kind of tell like if a formulation is good for my lips because it kind of feels like it's matte, but it feels moisturizing. It doesn't look super dry and it doesn't feel really dry on my skin. So when I tested it out, I was like, let me try this. And I love the packaging. It's super cute. I didn't realize the cap was red though. Cause that threw me off. I'm like, I didn't buy another red lipstick cause I don't need another red, but yeah. So the last thing that's beauty is oh it's right here so it's by huda beauty and this is the full filter skin finish buildable coverage foundation stick now i've used this before in my actual foundation color and i loved it but i got this really deep color for contouring because i love the formulation of this it's super moisturizing it's not drying i usually use my um my matchstick by fenty but sometimes i find that i have to really work work it in to blend it out child the hair the, the hair it's i have to really work it in to blend it out 
but with this because i'm familiar with with it because i've used it as a foundation this blends like a dream when i tell you like you can mark it all over your face and just like close your eyes and just blend away it literally blend right into your skin no time no hassle you don't have to work with it so that's why i got it because i just know that this formulation is amazing and this is a color for like a nice chiseled look okay so that's it for beauty now fragrances i'm gonna save the one with the story for the end child because that one right there hmm. okay so i got an angel share um travel spray i ordered an angel share i'm gonna just tell y'all i ordered an angel share refill um i think i told y'all anyway that i was gonna do that so i ordered the refill waiting for that to come it should actually be here i think tomorrow but i'm not filming tomorrow so i was like let me just film everything today and i'll just show y'all that in the haul like a um oh this is so pretty i'll just show y'all in a vlog or something so this is my spray for my purse for traveling love this you guys know i'm obsessed with angel share love this fragrance so much and that's going to be perfect now i told y'all that the seven virtues cherry ambition is everything that cherry is super deep succulent sweet dark boozy it is everything and i absolutely love it it lasts long on my skin so i had to pick up the full bottle so that's what this is y'all the cherry ambition fragrance this is my favorite seven virtues fragrance y'all this fragrance right here is everything and look at the bottle the packaging is so cute i love these cherries on here y'all it is so pretty love this this fragrance is everything it took me by surprise i wasn't expecting this to like wow me as much as it did like this is so good y'all okay so the last fragrance now the last fragrance i'm eating crow but you only know i'm eating crow if you follow me on instagram so about a month ago or maybe less than not a month maybe a few weeks ago um one of you guys told me that the ginger biscuit by joe malone is is now in stores so i was like okay you know what let me go get it i want to go smell it let me tell you a little story about ginger biscuit so in 2019 i want to say simply aisha on youtube i want to say like your favorite influencer or influencers that you watch like you can kind of tell which is like a fragrance that reminds you of them because they always talk about it and ginger biscuit was a fragrance that aisha talked about all the time so when i smelled it when i heard her initially talking about it i wasn't ready for it <laughs> i wasn't ready for it because at the time i didn't want gourmandy gourmands like i didn't want anything that smelled too much like food and literally ginger biscuit smells like a ginger biscuit point blank period i mean it doesn't get any more literal so like i said back then i wasn't ready for it but when i was ready for it when i became ready for it when i became this gourmand girl um it was no longer around it was nowhere to be found and that was that so i had a conversation with one of you guys in my comment section on a video and my lovely subscriber actually dm'd me the day that it was i guess she saw it in the mall or she heard it was back or something and she was like girl it's in the mall you could go get it and i'm like wow that's so sweet that you guys even remember all of our conversations like oh ai said that she wanted to try this again you know when it came back and you came back to my vid well no not to the video but you dm'd me to let me know that it's there and i thank y'all so much i love y'all like y'all are the real mvps i tell y'all that all the time so went to the mall smelled it and i went to the joe malone store to smell it and y'all i don't know if that bottle literally just got opened because they didn't even have the fragrance on the floor they had this the tester and it wasn't even on the floor like the sales associate got the tester for me i don't know where she got it from and i smelled it and i was like no this isn't what i remember like i remember it smelling like a ginger biscuit like just thick in like a gingerbread house with icing that's what i remember it smelling like and now i'm craving that scent y'all like y'all don't even understand it's the holiday season and i'm just into so many gourmands that i was craving the scent went to the mall didn't like it i felt like it it smelled watered down or it just wasn't doing it for me 
went on my stories and was like y'all it wasn't given because i was gonna hit her but i was like you know what let me just put it in my stories and i was like it's not given you know like I, I'm, it's not what i expected like it ain't given nothing so in sephora i was like you know what let me let me let me revisit the ginger biscuit since it was right there in front of my face when i was looking at other fragrances let me spray it again because i'm always spraying fragrances y'all so i sprayed it and this is what i wanted it to smell like like that day but you know what everything happens for a reason i didn't get it that day and i ended up getting it at sephora and i saved 20 percent so yes i'm eating a little crow soup okay but i mean not really because honestly what i smelled in the store at at the joe malone store it just wasn't like if it smelled like that when i went to sephora i wasn't gonna get it because i wanted it to smell like a ginger biscuit and that is what this smells like y'all so let's open it together and i hope that this smells like the fragrance that i smelled in sephora and not like the one that i smelled in um the joe malone store look at this packaging how gor hello how gorgeous hello how gorgeous is this this is so pretty okay y'all so and you know what i'm not going to judge it too hard because honestly like i'm literally just ripping it out the packaging right now for y'all so if it's if it's not giving me what i smelled in sephora then that's okay i'm gonna I'm give it you know a couple of days and see but let's see oh oh this came off oh that's annoying i wish it was Oh, that's gonna be annoying so this comes off every time y'all so okay whatever so let's see i'm gonna put her right here mm, yes ginger biscuit yes it smells warm and i know it's gonna get better Oh, this is so good, y'all. So let me tell y'all about this fragrance. Like for me, this isn't something that I'm going to wear dressed up going out because I don't want to smell like this when I'm dressed because literally, I mean, it smells like a ginger biscuit. This is like home cuddling. This is movie night. This is going out to a restaurant. But, you know, sometimes we go to like chain, not chain. Are they called chain restaurants? Like an Outback or a Friday's? Like when it's like a really casual, chill night and we just want that kind of food. It's not like a fancy, sexy date night. And we're just going to like someplace local or whatever. This is something that I'll wear with a sweater, with a sweatsuit. Just super comforting, super cozy. But you literally smell like you want to just eat yourself. It smells so good, y'all. So I'm so glad I got it and thank you to my subby thank you to aisha for putting the whole youtube on because she's the first person i ever heard or and the only person <laughs> that i ever hear talking about ginger biscuit like this is so good y'all but you have to really 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 love gourmands because i'm telling you like there's no perfumeness about this like you're literally smelling like a ginger biscuit and i love how it smells like i told y'all now like i'm a gourmand girly and the bottle is so freaking cute you have to keep putting this back on but it's okay because you know it, it's it's cute it's okay i'm not gonna be wearing it like every day this is literally like companies coming over i'm hosting maybe thanksgiving or no i'll probably be wearing angel share again on thanksgiving but you know it's it's good to have y'all it's good to have so y'all thank y'all for watching my sephora haul let's talk about it below i'm gonna link all the products um that we talked about in this video i'm gonna link everything in the description box so be sure to check it out if you guys still want to you know pick something up or whatever the sale is going to go on until the 6th of november thank you again to sephora and magic links for sponsoring today's video let's talk about it guys like we always do remember to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness AI the Great signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.